the P53 pathway. The P53 stands for protein with 53 molecular weight, aka tumor protein 53, and referred as guardian of genome. Since it regulates cell cycle, DNA repair, apoptosis, and senescence, it's mostly activated by DNA damage, oncogene activation, and cellular stress. Now let's see the P53 pathway in detail. Here in this diagram we have the cell membrane and inside it we have the nucleus having DNA in it. And within the nucleus we can see the P53 bound with MDM2. The MDM2 acts as a negative regulator. Basically it helps P53 in check, keeping it inhibited under normal conditions. It does this by tagging P53 for degradation via ubiquitination as shown in the diagram. Then this ubiquinated complex moves to cytoplasm where P53 is taken up by the proteasomes and degraded and MDM2 shuffles back to the nucleus. So by this way the levels of P53 remain low in the cell when there is no stress or damage. But at the time of DNA damage the ATR is recruited to the site of damage as shown in the animation. This ATR then recruits and phosphorylates the CHK1 molecule, which in turn phosphorylates P53 at serine 20. The phosphorylation of P53 at serine 20 disrupts the P53 MDM2 interaction, and we are left with the stabilized P53 alone. Moreover, there are other pathways also that inhibit the MDM2 molecule, like oncogene activation that activates ARF which in turn inhibits the MDM2 molecule. Second way is via hypoxia and then we have the nuclear stress driven through RPL5 molecules. So now we have the stabilized P53 in the nucleus but it's not fully activated yet. So in order to activate the P53 protein we have the P300CBP molecule. It comes in and acetylates the P53 at lysine 373 and 382, thus activating P53. Now acetylated P53 molecule has higher affinity for DNA binding. It then comes in and binds with the DNA molecule as shown in the animation. And from here we get the transcription of various genes. Like we get the transcription of P21, Box, Puma, Noxa, Pass CD95, DR5 trail R2. The first one that's P21 mediates the G1S cell cycle arrest. Box promotes the mitochondrial apoptosis. Puma and Noxa enhances apoptosis. Fast CD95 also drives apoptosis via death receptor pathway. And finally we have the DR5 molecule. It triggers apoptosis via trail. Furthermore, this P53 targets many more downstream molecules. Like it activates P53 R2 protein, which mediates DNA repair. Second is DRAM activation by P53. This DRAM drives autophagy. Third is PTEN, which drives tumor suppression. Fourth one is TSP1, which mediates anti angiogenesis. Then P53 activates Tigar, SCO2, and Cestrin 1 2. These three proteins drive metabolic regulation and oxidative stress control. So this is what the P53 pathway is and its transcriptional targets. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.